Ah, that was a crazy Mandalorian episode. Let's get into it. What's going on, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Unofficial Star Wars here. And in today's video, we have the full breakdown and things you may have missed in the latest episode of The Mandalorian, Season 2, Episode 5, titled The Jedi. First off, I want to give you guys a spoiler warning, as this video does contain spoilers at, to The Mandalorian, but that's obvious. Also, before we get into the video, there's a good amount of you that aren't actually subscribed to our channel, but watch our videos, so go and hit that subscribe button, join us, it's free, you can always unsubscribe. We also just released our trailer to our upcoming fan film, Baby Yoda. It's linked in the description, so go check it out. Um, I'll have my own personal review at the end of the video as well, so stay tuned for that. Okay, now into the video. That was a crazy episode. Mando and the child, as we now finally know his name, Grogu. I'm still practicing on pronouncing his name. It was just such a cool episode for the child as we finally get to know his true name and backstory. We also get to see the live action debut of Ahsoka Tano. First seen in the Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels, and now in the Mandalorian as live action. I've mentioned, I've mentioned this plenty of times, but what's one more? Ahsoka is one of my most favorite characters in Star Wars of all time. So what did you maybe miss in this episode? Um, there's not a lot of things that you may have missed if you were paying attention, but you know, there's a few details. We also get to see that Ahsoka is after Thrawn, the same way that bo is after Moff Gideon. Thrawn was said to be killed by Ezra Bridger in Star Wars Rebels, but that's clearly not the case then. Thrawn is or was an Imperial commander during the rise of the Galactic Empire. He's actually been killed off a few times in books and comics, but always makes his way back. My guess is that somewhere in the Star Wars Rebels and the time traveling, um, something had to happen. It's also said that Ahsoka and Morgan as Beth, uh, the queen of the city, have been enemies for a little while as Ahsoka has been trying to free the people of the city. Looking into some reasons why Ahsoka doesn't want to train Grogu is that she still fe fears the dark side, sorry about that, as she mentions with her previous master, Anakin. And it was pretty cool, you know, to have that little mention of Anakin as well. I definitely think that's a cool thing. I definitely think it's a big reason for her feelings of this and with her duel that we see in Star Wars Rebels with Vader. It definitely has struck fear into her. Much like we see with Luke in The Last Jedi, although Luke didn't have much of this type of reason compared to Ahsoka. That's, there's that same fear, though, of not wanting to be the reason for someone's fall to the dark side. It also seems she is a bit busy with cleaning up the galaxy as Mando is in our other heroes like Cara Dune, as they are on the hunt for Thrawn. Also, wanted to say that I think Ahsoka was perfect in every way. Many had a concern of her voice being different and sounding weird compared to her voice in Rebels and Clone Wars, as we know Ashley has always been the voice for her. I think Rosiera Dawson did amazing. I hope we get to see Ahsoka, Boba, and bo Katan again, possibly a Sage of Mandalore Part 2, as it was taken over by the Empire at the time. I'll have a separate video on that, too. Also, saw a parallel with Ahsoka and Mando. As we see, no one would really suspect a Mandalorian and Jedi to work together as their ancient memory enemies. Uh, we see bo Katan and Ahsoka work together in the Clone Wars and a bit of Rebels, and now we get to see Mando and Ahsoka work together now. So, with Baby Yoda, or as I should now call Gagaru, or Grogu, sorry, I'm still pronouncing it and uh, learning how to pronounce it. Um, so with his backstory, Ahsoka is able to figure it out. It also may seem a bit confusing on how Ahsoka was able to talk with him and communicate to Grogu. But that is why I'm here, is to clear up things for all of you. So much like Qui-Gon Jinn would with learning how to become a Force ghost, he was only a voice in the Force. Much like we also saw in the, in the Rise of Skywalker with all the Force ghosts speaking to Rey as they are only voices instead of ghosts. Before we could actually turn into a Force ghost, we could see. Basically, they were able to talk through the Force as its own language, pretty much, to simplify it for you. It's definitely a cool idea and concept and was interesting to see. Grogu was raised on Coruscant at the Jedi Temple and was later put into hiding, so he was training to become a Jedi, which is really cool. Ahsoka also makes it clear that many of his past life events and traumas have upset the youngling, and that's why she thinks that he could possibly fall to the dark side of the Force and holds that fear. From there, his life was a lot of on the go and hiding, and he was always alone, and hence why he grows up um, such a connection towards Mando as a father. He's someone that he's always been there for the child. 
Also, the sound of the giant animals in the background on the planet Corvus eating the trees. Uh, the sound of that is pulled from A New Hope from the Tusken Raiders sound when Luke is attacked by them. Same thing for the dragon in the first episode. I really do hope we get to see more of Ahsoka in future episodes. It was probably the only disappointing thing to see in this episode was not having Ahsoka go with Mando. I mean, what's really left for her at this Corvus planet? There's really nothing there. Maybe she just wants to live out a peaceful life, but I don't really know. I think she's really still on the go for Thrawn, and there's nothing there for her left, so she might as well go with Mando and the child. Um, so go comment down below right now if there's anything that we missed in this video or anything that you may have noticed. I love to read and respond to you guys in the comments. Go tell me what you think about this episode. I absolutely loved it and that is why I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. That does it for today's video. Go drop a like on this video if you enjoyed today's video as it really helps out the channel. Subscribe for more videos like this and check out our Instagram on official Star Wars linked in the description for more content from us or if you want to get in contact to help out with our fan film. And of course, may the force be with you. Peace out.